All right, so we're back on the canister Damascus. What I've got here is a stack of 1095, 1095, um, 52100, 52100, and then my billet of, we're gonna call this Heinz 57. Um, there's all kind of stuff in there, 15N20, 1095, uh, 1084, cannonball, and some uh, 52100 ball bearings even inside there. So there's all kind of stuff in there. So I'm thinking this is gonna make a pretty cool pattern. Um, I'm gonna try a technique that I had uh, talked to a guy about here recently. When he does his stacks for his billets, he does a fusion weld with TIG, which I'm about to do using my uh, Lincoln Electric Square Wave 200 TIG machines. Um, gonna probably go around 130 on my amperage and uh, dial it in with the pedal from there and see what kind of what kind of temperature I need to get a good fusion weld here. So basically, I'm gonna do this back side. Once I get that, then I'm gonna make sure my other sides are, are flush and uh, weld up the whole circumference of this thing. Supposedly that's supposed to be sort of like a canister Damascus where there's no way that any impurities, I cleaned everything up with acetone. Um, all the parts are ground smooth, so there's no mill scale, nothing of that in there. All these pieces are, are nice and flush. You can't see any light through it. So that means when I fuse weld this whole thing together, it should be um, basically impervious to anything from the outside. So I should not need to flux it at all. So we're gonna go with that and see how it goes. That being said, here we go. So the first one, uh, I don't know if you can see that. First one turned out pretty good. So we're just gonna rock and roll with that. Uh, and I'm gonna clean it up in between. Got a little bit of splatter kind of stuff there.
real exciting stuff. So, uh, yeah. Woo! Hot! That's hot! Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish welding this up, and uh, we'll be back when we're ready for the forge. Alright, since I'm uh, never just doing one thing when I'm up here in the forge, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my stick, and I'm rocking out by the way. My stick is already nice and, and hot from welding, so I'm just gonna let that guy hang out right there for now while the forge heats up. Using the propane uh, off my 100 pounders, and you can see I'm up to about nine pounds of pressure, 10 pounds of pressure. I can get more heat out of this one than I can out of this one with my current setup. Also, got a bunch of knives in the tempering oven, second cycle, 400 degrees for an hour. So those will be ready here soon. That being said, get set up for some hammering. I think we're about ready. I want to make sure I get a good weld set here. So it's been so good for a little while. getting pretty thin, starting to move some material. I'm hoping it's one piece. I hope it doesn't come apart, laminate. It's hot here. Let me tell you. So this is the blade that I'm trying to get to. One of my 
understand two goes. Here's where my piece of steel is. I'm getting there. All right, so here's as far as I made it today with uh, before my rod broke off. Yeah, it's a common problem with me. It's all that hammering. It's a lot of stress. A forge or a power hammer. Well, a power hammer probably would too, but a forge um, press, forging press would definitely be a little bit easier on everything. So I'm gonna put this thing back in the, uh, I'm gonna put it in the forge, leave it there all night, and I'll start working on it again tomorrow. Peace out.